Narcissists want to break you. They think that you're a weak, feeble stick that can just be broken in half. But guess what? You need to reinvent yourself. You're a steel pipe, and a steel pipe cannot be broken. You need to show the narcissist who is boss, and that they're not going to just come around and just break you uh, like it's super easy. Uh, narcissists get personal enjoyment from watching you suffer. They they get a kick out of this. It's just, you know, just for fun, for some entertainment for them to make you suffer. Because remember, misery loves company, and they want you to feel what they feel every day. They are absolutely and utterly miserable, and so they have to drag everyone else down to their, into their misery. So, you have to show them that you are the boss, that you are in control, and that they cannot pull on your emotional strings. So, narcissists, even though some of them do have some level of self-awareness, like one of the ones that I was talking to that he, he was kind of mixed with bipolar he could actually hold the conversation and he had some level of self-awareness like he he would say like he said oh I just you know I just have trouble connecting with people so they if they're mixed with like a bipolar they have a little more self-awareness but the, that doesn't mean they're any less harmful, because I would say he's probably, if I had to guess, I would say he's 20% bipolar, and, well, no, maybe a little more, maybe like 40, well, like 30% bipolar and 70% narc, so even though he showed signs of being self-aware, he still went ahead and you know, tried to hurt me, tried to really stab me in the back. So he was able to discern these things, but he was not able to stop it. It's like they just cannot stop this addiction. So it's very bizarre. It's like mentally he was able to point things out and he kind of knew knew about these things and when I towards the end when I started figuring stuff out and pointing it out to him he all of a sudden conveniently was like oh you know oh I've broken down the whole ego I've gotten rid of this whole facade like I've gotten okay so you now that all of your lies are being uncovered you conveniently are like oh I don't I'm not like that anymore. I just got rid of that whole grandiose personality. <laughs> I mean, like, they'll say anything to keep you around because then they're just going to continue to abuse you. Like, they're going to just say, like, you know, he all of a sudden had a change of horror and wanted to say, oh, you know, I, I just, I broke down that whole, the whole ego thing, the whole persona, the whole, like, I just got rid of that and I'm not like that anymore like uh, no <laughs> no you're just saying that because I caught on to your lies and I started addressing you on it and you knew you were about to get caught you know and you so you conveniently all of a sudden change your tune you know what I'm saying so narcissists do anything that is self-serving for themselves. So whatever's going to help them get through the situation at the time, they they will do. I mean, I'm surprised he even uh, that I was surprised that he didn't I was surprised he even said that much. You know what I mean? 
but he did have more self-awareness uh, than the other guy. The other guy was just completely would never, ever, ever in a million years admit to any, to any, any kind of uh, covert behavior or any. He would never, ever. He was more delusional. He was way more delusional. The. the the guy with bipolar had a little more self-awareness, but still doesn't matter. They're still completely dangerous, and they can't they can't stop it. Even though they're able to acknowledge it, that doesn't mean they can stop it. And they're still gonna they're still gonna hurt you. So it does not matter, you know. So the point is, they're gonna try to slowly and systematically break you down and and make you their slave you know and you have to you're in charge of yourself nobody can break you nobody can break you down unless you let them so as soon as you see the red flags and start picking up on warning signs it's your responsibility to get yourself to safety and to get yourself out of there because a uh, a narcissist certainly isn't going to lead you to safety. They're going to leave you to lead you to the the tenth dimensions of hell. So uh, don't let anyone break you. You're you're not a weak and feeble stick. You're a steel pipe. 